Hey everyone, welcome to another Nigel's Chief Vlogs and today we are at Halton County Radial Railway Museum. So we're going to check this place out, lots of old streetcars, railway stuff and a few old buses. So uh, let's go and check it all out. All right, today's video is all about railways, and if you're a fan of railways, streetcars, and things like that, this is the video for you. Uh, today, we're at the museum of the, oh, let me get this right, the Halton County Radial Railway. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Halton County Radial Railway. So that, that word radial is uh, really much of a, really is a tongue twister. Several other streetcars date back to the late 1800s and the early 1900s. The Halton County Radial Railway was formed in 1953 by a group of men who wanted to save a Toronto Transit Commission streetcar number 1326. Since the beginning, the vision of the museum was to inform, educate and inspire the public about the electric railway history of Ontario and Canada. Today, the museum displays and operates a variety of historic streetcars, radial cars and work cars and maintains a collection of photographs, memorabilia and archival materials. Okay, this behind me, let me get this right, it's a TP11, uh, built in 1946, and it's actually, look at this, a snowplow. Alright, we're inside uh, the Lake Erie Northern uh, train carriage, uh, built in uh, 1915. And I believe this is car 797. And we're inside it. This is this is over 100 years old. Actually, you know what? That's, that's not bad. Hey, there's more room on this than your typical... Uh, well, about the same, really, as today's trains. <laughs> Seriously, you must have had a small, small bum back in 1915. <laughs> All right. I only have small hands. Let me just get you yeah, a benefit. That... Oh my god, my hand actually goes right across the seat. Do you need my ticket? No, oh, it's okay. Once you get past the guys in the front, wait for your... Uh, oh, I GoPro! Hello. That just gives you the streetcar for a couple of hours, right? Right, right. It's just the streetcar. Yeah. What was this thing thinking on the switch? 90, about 95. Yeah.
how this is. God, this is like super clean. It's actually quite posh. Look at those light fittings. All right, this one looks a little posh to me. <laughs> looks like someone like some dignitary should be in it. Like, is this, would this just be on a normal like run? Yeah. Wow, this is like, I guess for the posh people. <laughs> it just looks too nice. <laughs> wow. This is nicer than today's buses and trains. So in the uh, upper section, they had fabric seating and this looks like leather. You know what, it's actually all right. He's a bit hard on the back of the legs, but for his time, this would have been really comfy. And it's fully heated, this car. I can see the heater installed under the seats. There you go. Yes, I am. Why is it two sections? One's smoking and one's non-smoking. Ah, so we're in the smoking section. So this here is where you'll strike your match and light your smoke. So I was surprised to find out when this was in service back in the day between uh, London and Port Stanley. That's Ontario, of course, not London, UK and Port Stanley. Falkland Islands would never make it. Uh, but it used to do 70 to 80 miles per hour. In this? <laughs> so this is a London Port Stanley car. Ran from uh, London, Ontario to Port Stanley on Lake Erie. First time in the province of Ontario and the last time in the province of Ontario so far that they ever tried to electrify a railway. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's going to come soon, maybe. But diesel was cheap for years, so diesel was king. Yeah. Uh, this car, uh, th there's more. Th this is the locomotive that would have coaches behind it, and if it's got enough coaches, you'd have another electric car somewhere in the middle of the train. Okay. All right, we're at the streetcar where you get an ice cream from. So I am gonna order, I'll have a strawberry, please. Okay. And why not? It's good enough.
Fulton County Radial Railways and it has been a spectacular day out. Really, really enjoyed it. Thoroughly good value as well. And not only that, the money you spend here goes back into the place because everyone here is a volunteer. Keep that in mind. So uh, your money is not thrown away. Some people might think 15 bucks 50 could be expensive, but you know, I've been here for four hours walking around, uh, riding the trams, the streetcars and everything like that. I've been on all these uh, trains and trams loved every single minute of it so the money side of it is well worth it really really enjoyed it here we're about 45 50 minutes northwest of toronto uh 25 30 minutes uh northeast of hamilton so it's not hard to find so uh, top of highway 6 just follow highway 6 up from either the 401 the qew and you'll find this place it's hidden on highway 6 and uh come and check it out the halton uh, railway place great museum loved it